Jerry. Let's try to get this bad baby fixed. Grab our new core. Got our new core. They got her to do it, what do you think? Damn, I hope it does, Bubba. I don't want to blow my damn self up no more. In Haywood County, North Carolina, after an explosion derailed their first attempt at building a wooden still pot, Mike and Jerry start over from scratch. We're making a still out of a charred wood barrel. Hopefully, it's going to transfer the aged flavor into a clear alcohol, which is what we're wanting. Best of both worlds. That just still amazes me, man. Keep that for a souvenir. <laughs> We're trying to build another car. What happened last time, some gun like to blow it up and blow my damn head off. I'm gonna solder it from the inside. <laughs> damn! Oh, God! Uh, barrel blowed up with alcohol in it. There was alcohol vapor in this barrel. You can't put fire to a barrel that's got alcohol vapors in it. Putting some water in this barrel to try to get all the alcohol vapors out to where we can at least put a fire to it without blowing ourselves up. I tell you what, man, I'm a little damn gun shy of this barrel. That's got to help it some. Oh, yeah. We'll throw some fire to it and see what happens. So we got to take down precautions. I ain't fixing to get my ice burned up again. Lay it to it, Jerry. Let's see what happens here. We're going to put a fire in there just to see if it's going to burn. Bang! You got me. No flames. That's a good thing. It means we are ready to put this core in and solder it up. Let's get something accomplished. You know, me and Jerry, we done had a tough start to our season. We lost a lot of liquor. We're broke, and uh, we ain't got nothing started yet. We'll see how she's going to fit up there. Oh, yes. You know, this still should have been done by now. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. We've got to get this thing in the woods and get some liquor making. Pulling down there nice and tight, ain't it? Ain't it. The bottom side done, we'll be ready to roll to the woods. You know, this barrel we're using, it's gonna be both our mash barrel and our steel pot. We gotta make sure we've got a way to access and clean this thing out and get our materials into this barrel. So we're gonna cut about a four inch hole in the top of it. There we go. This hole right here is actually gonna be our cap where our alcohol's gonna condense and work over to our condenser. Also, it's gonna serve as our port to get our ingredients in, get it stirred up, because we gotta mash in inside this barrel. Probably the smallest damn cap in history, son. Got this cap built that fits like a glove. I'll be surprised if we even had to put any paste around it. It's one hell of a unique cap, ain't it? Damn right. It'll work. Now that we've got our steel built, all me and Jerry's got to do is figure out how in the hell we're going to put a fire under this damn thing without burning the wood up and make damn sure we don't blow ourselves up no more. We got it, we got it ready to heat. Now we just need a way to heat it. You know, this is the first time me and Jerry's putting all this stuff together. We're both excited to see how this is going to work, but I'm kind of scared and iffy about it. I don't want to burn nothing up. There we go. Heating up 50 gallons of water, it takes a lot of heat to do that. We'll give it something to burn, man. Hey, we're about ready to run, son. Mother Nature's provided us a lot of wood, so we're just going to use that. Fire up, son. You hear that sound changing? I do. I believe we're burning. Yeah, it's barely smoking. I know, barely. What do you think, Jerry? I think it's it's working. It's just it's just gonna take a minute to heat up. You know, we got a 40-something gallons worth of cold water. It's gonna absorb a little bit of heat. We got the rocket burner fired up. It, it's actually it's working. It's just not working as quick as it should. What do you think, Jerry? The dang thing should burn. I'm a little stumped, I'm a little confused, you know. The flame we got burning is pitiful. You know, at the rate it's burning right now, it's gonna take months to heat up. We just ain't getting enough air or something. This rocket burner, it has to use heat for a draft. Heat is coming up through our flue, the cold water is sucking all the heat out of it so it can't draft properly. I wanna run liquor, Jerry. This is a big deal, you know, we've gotta make some money. It's just a matter of finding out what it's gonna take to make it run. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey. Please don't let me down. Today we got our mash. We're hoping it's ready to go because it's going to be the first day on our new steel, and I am super excited. Well, let's check her out, brother. The whole concept is, is to mash inside this barrel to create the flavor of that charred wood barrel and get it into our mash before we ever distill it off. Well, it's got a damn good cap on it, darn it. Oh, my God. All you can taste is rye and that white oak barrel. 
good, ain't it? Wow, we're in business. We're gonna be in big business. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just like you were to pop the cork on a good aged whiskey. That's pretty, baby. Couldn't ask nothing better than that. I knew when we heated it up real hot like it, it had to color that. With heating this barrel up and letting it set and ferment like this, I knew that those colors and that taste was gonna come through that wood. Generally, when you mash it in a plastic barrel, you're gonna have a milky looking color mash. You get a good coffee type color, you know that barrel's doing its job on aging that mash. If we can get this flavor through the end of that worm, we're gonna have some of the best charred unaged liquor a man can ever drink. Let's fire this baby up, boy. We have made one hell of a mash. Now if we can get it run out the other end, it's gonna be even better. We'll find out now if it's gonna work, won't we, Bubba? I'll tell you what, I know nobody's ever ran on a wooden barrel before, but hey. There's a first down time for everything. How's she looking back here? It's burning, baby. I can hear it from here burning. How damn hot that wood is already. It's relaxing open, all that good flavors Goodies. coming out of there. Yeah, boy. This thing's heating up. It's working like a charm so far. It's just a little while. We'll get to put our lips around this stuff and see what it's all about. Here we got liquor, brother. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, she comes. Rye whiskey, son. Hell yeah. Somebody put me a cone rod in it. I tell you what, man, I am tickled to death to see these first few drops coming out. There's the heads, baby. We're catching the first drops of alcohol from a damn wooden barrel, and me and Jay's the two dudes just doing it. You ready? Ready. Don't waste it. Well, I'm fixing to take me a horn. I'm gonna tell you right down now, son, a blind man couldn't tell that no good age charred damn liquor. Taste that. Ain't that nice? That'll sell, won't it, brother? That is, I mean, clear as a bell, and a taste like it's got with that nose. You can taste the rye. It's perfect. This liquor is like none other that me and Jerry has ever made. The charred flavor's there. That's what we're looking for. The fact of it being clear is gonna blow people's mind. I gotta mess up. The notes are there, the flavor's there. It's absolutely amazing, and it's clear. I mean, what more could you ask for? If somebody don't like that, they don't like whiskey. Yeah, you know what, man? This whole thing was Jerry's idea. You know, building a steel out of a damn wooden barrel? Come on, man. One more down, Jerry. But I stood behind him. Feels really good to accomplish this together. We got seven and a half gallons of good ride, aged, clear down liquor. Can't beat it, son. We'll scrub these boxes and rocket our asses on out of here. <laughs>